When we were inventing the Morozco Forge ice bath, there were three things that were important. The first was temperature, the second was water treatment, and the third was electrical grounding. And we had to take them in that order, so I'll explain. The most important thing to me about the ice bath is that it has ice. Now, not everybody agrees with me. Some people are gonna say, no, no, I don't want the ice. You know, I've got the water moving and that makes it feel colder. Okay, I'm not saying you need to have ice. I'm saying I need to have ice because without the ice, to me, it doesn't feel like an ice bath. So temperature is the first thing. How cold does your ice bath get? After about seven or 10 days of daily plunging, you're gonna find that the human body, your body, will acclimate to the cold by recruiting new brown fat. And then your tolerance for temperature is gonna to go to lower and lower temps. You're gonna to need to get down below 40 degrees to really feel that cold shock experience, at least if you're anything like me. The second thing, water treatment. It gets to be a pain in the butt to be constantly changing over your water. A ice bath that requires chemicals like chlorine or water changes, it's just high maintenance and it's not something that we wanted. We wanted an ice bath that made its own ice without requiring chlorine and that means ozone. If your uh, ice bath doesn't use ozone, if it's using chlorine or other chemicals, then it's not as healthy for you as one that uses O3. The O3, that is the ozone, is one of the most powerful disinfectants and when it does its job, of course, it decomposes into oxygen rather than into a hazardous chlorinated chemical. So that was the second thing, water treatment disinfection and filtration. We wanted an ice bath that doesn't require water changes, that doesn't require a lot of maintenance, and that doesn't require any added chemicals. The third thing is electrical grounding. Now, you probably understand electrical grounding from the perspective of electrical safety. You've got water, you've got an electrical appliance, a lot of power running through it, and you don't want any stray currents or shorts just for safety. But there's another reason to be electrically grounded, and that's for health. We used a metal tub for the Morozco because the metal tub is an electrical contact with the water. The water is grounded as long as the metal tub is grounded. And what that means is it has an electrical connection directly with the earth. So the tub in the Morozco is connected to the copper evaporative coils that do the refrigeration. And those coils are connected to the compressor and the compressor is connected to ground and ground is connected straight into the circuits in your home that go to the earth. We had Brian Hoyer of Shielded Healing measure this and it turns out, at least according to Ben Greenfield's measurements, that he had Brian do. The forge is 20 times more effective for connecting you electrically, grounding you, earthing you, than walking barefoot in the grass. And that's because the water is a better electrical conductor than the grass is. So when I get into the Morozco, I get the instantaneous electrical grounding associated with that connection to the earth. And why is that a good thing? Because your red blood cells build up what's called a zeta potential. When you are electrically out of balance, the zeta potential in your red blood cells encourages their coagulation. The viscosity of the blood increases. When you're out of electrical balance with the earth, that increased viscosity and that coagulation of your red blood cells reduces your circulation and can make you more vulnerable to clots, including stroke, deep vein thrombosis, heart disease. The grounding has a multitude of benefits, but for me, the most important one is the improvement in my circulation. Those are the three things that I'm looking for when I'm inventing an ice bath, and you might not be looking for the same things as me, but whenever someone asks, I keep coming back to temperature, 
water treatment, and electrical grounding. 